Firstly, I want to say that I have a sciatic nerve issue and I have back problems and I think uh, I think I heard it um, over this snowstorm. So I'm um, sorry for the delay in the video, but just a disclaimer um, and a little bit of back pain and um, we're kind of waiting it out. So, so I hope you enjoy the video. Check it out. It's been a long week. Enjoy. Welcome back. My name is Brian Roshetsky. If you have been, thanks for watching. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Winter Storm Uri really did a number on Texas, but Texans are strong, resilient. We've been through this before. Just normally it's in the form of a hurricane and not a winter storm. But sometimes you gotta pick yourself up from your bootstraps and push yourself forward and wait for that silver lining. This was a serious snowstorm. After a day of fresh powder and then two days of solid ice, it completely shut down cities all across the state with millions and millions of Texans left out in the cold, freezing, dark, and without power. And to make matters worse, we now have to boil water and have no available fresh drinking water to drink. This is like a third world country. What are we doing? This is supposed to be Texas, the land of the most abundant energy creation in the entire world. Why are Texans left out in the cold? I think everyone should be upset, everyone should be up in arms, and everyone should be out there promoting and making sure that we invest in the infrastructure that is needed to power our future. I think this should be a wake-up call because the time is now to move forward and not only bring our energy infrastructure into the 21st century, but at least make it strong enough to survive another winter. I hope this is gonna be the time when Texans start to come together, when we start to split the divide and all agree on at least this one thing. Because we have the technology, we can do this. If we start pushing and investing our money and pushing our politicians to invest in solar and wind and battery storage systems, we can push ourselves into a future with abundant clean energy. So much energy that we would never have an energy shortage issue ever again. The craziest part about this is that within Texas, Austin is one of the most innovative cities in the entire country. Right here, you're looking at Austin, Texas's new electric bus fleet. These are all electric buses. We have at least, I wanna say 12 new electric buses driving all across Austin. This is just another investment to keep our community moving forward. Thanks Cap Metro for providing us with clean electric buses. So before heading to Giga, Texas, I needed to charge on my car. So I stopped here at Whole Foods, got a free charge on, uh, got a banana and a chocolate bar, got a little snack. Wanted to show y'all what I'm charging with. Whole Foods has an entire rooftop of solar panels that are providing clean energy to their entire building. And they provide free charging for all electric cars. Check them out. I had at least 10 or 20 people come up to me and talk to me about the electric car while charging. And that's 10 or 20 people that are now educated and know more about electric cars than they did before. So let's get out there. Let's educate our friends and our communities about electric cars and about the future technologies that are gonna save us. It was a pretty slow day at Giga Texas. Not a whole lot of action going on. The lighting was great. There was some movement though. There was workers out there. Uh, we had a lot of people clearing mud and clearing water. You'll see that later. But there is definitely some movement, some stuff going on. I think everyone's trying to prepare uh, because I believe tomorrow or the next day, things are going to be ramping up real fast.
right here, you can see them doing a little mud work, clearing out that mud pit that's formed from all the melted snow. All right, let's get the bird out and see what she looks like from above.
And again, I want to thank everyone for watching. My Tesla, electric car, photography, everyone out there that follows or watches my videos, you really... <laughs>